Tracks is tough, baby. <laughs> What's up? It's Eric. I've got the Traxxas X Max back out for hopefully a, another run. Uh, if you guys saw the first video, I definitely had a couple of issues with the drive cups and some diffs and stuff like that. Uh, but hopefully, this thing's gonna be a little bit more dialed for this run. She does have a couple of M2C upgrades. I'm pretty excited about the new M2C center drive shaft. Uh, it's a two-piece drive shaft with an X brace, all 7075 aluminum. It looks really cool. I'll give you guys a shot of that real quick. Here's a quick shot of the beautiful M2C 7075 center drive shaft system. Uh, it's the X series shaft. Uh, it's all 7075 aluminum, a very lightweight to keep the truck nice and light. What this is basically going to do is allow everything to flex the way it's uh, made with the CVD style joints right there. So that when the uh, chassis flexes, the drive shaft will flex with it. So you don't have a solid piece of aluminum going all the way across there. So it's an absolute genius idea and I uh, can't wait to give that a test. So again, big shout out to uh, Mitchell and Avery Looper. Uh, this, is, this is some amazing work for sure. I got a whole new electronic system in here. I did drop in a Max 6 combo. Uh, it's a, a 4985 Hobby Wing 1650 KV along with a Max 6. I'm um, starting out with a 2350 gearing. We're going to see how that does. Still running the M2C Delrin O ring style pistons. I did uh, drill the piston holes out to 1.4 all the way around. So uh, she feels super, super plush now. Uh, with the collars uh, basically in the stock position, even in the rear. The shocks aren't lazy, but it's just super plush. So hopefully that's going to help out with some of that after bounce. And just, uh, it also helps with the handling and some of the rollover and body roll this, this truck was having. It may be hard to see in here, but I did install the WFO cup rings for all four drive cups to hopefully stop the uh, drive cups from snapping. So big shout out to those guys. All right, guys, we'll get this thing out real quick. This truck does have a lot of potential. Uh, it just needs some key upgrades and some key tuning and the right electronics. And I think this will be a really fun truck. All right, guys, we're going to give her a quick run, see what's up. <laughs> Oh, this thing is crazy. Yeah, guys, I definitely say she's got some power with that motor. Higher KV motor. Whoops. <laughs> Looks like a blue attire. The tracks is trademark. Oh yeah, that one ripped too. That sucks. Oh God, here we go with the tire again. Blew another foam clean out. Which tire was it? Got this back one right here. I'm off to do some work on the divs too. That'll kind of help it from uh, diffing out midair and blowing out tires. But see if I got something I can throw on it. Oh boy, guys, that was just one of those uh, send it and forget it's right there. At least I had a nice padded landing. I got a tire strewn everywhere. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this truck is definitely going to take some getting used to. Body popped off, blew two front tires, popped my ESC loose. What else we got going on? Oh, check that out. Got a major crack all the way across the bottom of the chassis there. Tracks is tough, baby. <laughs>
All right, guys, I threw on the Master X uh, belt of tires. I got the WFO cup rings on there, so hopefully they'll hold this time. I made a quick band-aid for the chassis just to get through another pack or so, hopefully, uh, with some aluminum plates just basically bolting this thing together. I'm not sure if it's going to hold up at all. The center uh, a cover right here is cracked as well. But I just want to get another run in until that uh, part comes in. All right, let's see what's up. Sucker stowing rocks. Hey guys, this 1650 kV motor is fast. Alright guys, another update. Not sure what happened. Hadn't even jumped the truck yet this session. And somehow the motor shaft snapped on my 1650, which really sucks. So I threw in the stock Creighton 8S motor to 1250 kV. I just put a 30 tooth, uh, so a 3054. Somehow too, the rear drive cup pulverized. So she's only two wheel drive, but let's just send it. Uh, Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. <laughs>